So it seems that capitalism has become a dirty word in some places these days, especially among some of the candidates who are vying for the presidency in 2020. But tonight, a powerful new documentary tells the story of capitalism's contribution worldwide to society and how it has lifted people out of poverty, unleashed human dignity and human potential in America and, of course, beyond. Watch this. Here's the great irony of our times. People in the wealthiest countries in the world are increasingly turning against the very system that's lifted us out of poverty. If India had not adopted economic reforms, there would be 375 million poor people more in the country today. Whatever we gotta do to get the American dream honestly, then that's what we're gonna do, you know? The American dream is always predicated on you work hard, you get the right grades, you go to the right schools, and a lot of time, it doesn't work that way. The real poverty exists when a young man or a young woman grows up with no dream. That's poverty, man. This is so well done. Uh, Dr. Arthur Brooks, producer of the new documentary and president of the American Enterprise Institute. Great to see you. Great to um, see Arthur, you thank you so much for being with us. So given that basic fact that you state in the beginning there about how many millions of people have been lifted out of poverty by capitalism, why are we even discussing the possibility of another economic model. Because we're not making that case. Here's the big problem. Those of us who are very involved in the free enterprise movement, we keep talking about business, we keep talking about taxes. And the truth of the matter is that two billion of our brothers and sisters have been pulled out of poverty since I was a kid. Nobody knows this. People think poverty is worse. It's 80% better than when I was a child. We gotta shout this from the rooftops. We gotta get the next two billion. This is the greatest humanitarian achievement in world history. Look, the people on the left, they, they care like we do about wiping out poverty, about bringing people up into opportunity. We have the best system to get that done. Let's take a look at another clip on, on free enterprise. Watch this. Under our constitution and system of free enterprise, the American people managed to build the most successful, most innovative, and most charitable, upwardly mobile society in all of human history. Across the economic spectrum, People in America generally live materially better lives than almost anywhere else in the world. Which is why, year after year, people continue to come to the United States seeking opportunity. All right, so I want to contrast that with, I know that in the control room we have an old soundbite of Bernie Sanders talking about how, as from a young age, he was attracted to the idea of what was going on in Cuba. Watch this. I remember, for some reason, of being very excited when, when Fidel Castro made the revolution in Cuba. I was a kid and I remember reading that. And it was just seemed right and appropriate that poor people were rising up against rather ugly rich people. Arthur. Well, you know, the greatest way that poor people have risen up against tyranny and poverty around the world has been the free enterprise system, America's true gift to the world. It's incredible. People, generation after generation, are struggling to get to the United States from poor, tyrannical countries. Why? Why do they want to come here from Cuba? The answer is because of capitalism, because of democracy, because of freedom. And look, we got to talk about this. Poor people need us. But you know exactly what Bernie Sanders would say to that. He would say, but it has not worked for everyone. It works for the wealthy. It works for the 1%, as he as he always says, um, he feels like it, it, the system has failed us. It has worked for hundreds of millions of people, which is why people have thrown off their chains around the world looking at us and saying, I want that freedom and I want that stuff. Could we be better? Yeah, for sure. Here's the problem. Nothing works without human morality. See, markets don't work without morality, and socialism doesn't work without morality. Nothing works without morality. We have to think about what's in our human hearts about how to help other people. And we need a safety net, by the way. We need a strong government safety net. But what pays for that? What pays for that is the democratic capitalist system that's lifted up everybody. So let's make it better, absolutely. Let's have a big competition of ideas about how big the safety net should be. But let's not throw out the only system that's lifted people up from poverty, from tyranny in the history of the world. I want to show everybody another clip um, that is about graduation. Let's see that. Some of my same old friends from my neighborhood woke by me one day while I was cleaning and kicked my bucket and laughed at my uniform. But I just kept thinking, I'm a working man and I'm not going back to prison. I wanted to get in the kitchen, into Gino's house, because in the kitchen, there's love. In the kitchen, you can do something good all day, every day. And I knew that bucket was going to get me there. Hmm. 
It's fantastic. This is from the Doe Fund, which is a homeless shelter here in New York based entirely on work. When you're on Fifth Avenue, you see these guys in blue jumpsuits mm -hmm. and they're sweeping the streets. What they're doing is they're, they're redeeming their lives through work. And so this is the, the secret to everybody is the dignity, or, uh, dignity of ordinary work. And here's the key thing, Martha. People on the left and people on the right, we agree on these things about alleviating poverty, uh, bringing people into opportunity. And what we need to just discuss is the best way to get that done. And I believe that left and right can come together around the dignity of work, the dignity of people's lives, and that's why I've, why I've made this movie with John Popola, the director at Emergent Order, this phenomenally creative guy. It's visually it's interesting to look at. What a fun project. And the key thing is, look, this is a new way of talking without trashing anybody else's point of view about, about how we can help others. It's a, it's a really interesting uh, documentary, and I, I recommend it to everybody. It's called The Pursuit. Dr. Arthur Brooks, thank you very much from the Amer American Enterprise Institute. Good to have you here tonight. Thank you, Martha. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it.